the first semi-final of the UEFA Women's Champions League is a rematch of the 2021 final and the 2023 semi-final. Reigning champions Barcelona look to secure a fifth final for a fourth consecutive time. They'll have to do it against Chelsea, who are looking to reach the final for a second time in their history. Who'll come out on top? Before we get into the video, please like, share and subscribe. Help me get to a thousand subscribers, we are halfway there and I'll really appreciate it. Barcelona are still the best team in Europe. Domestically, they are on the verge of another Spanish league title, leading the table with 64 points, having drawn one, won 22 and lost none. They are able to replicate this form in continental competitions, blowing teams away in the Champions League. En route to the semis, they've won against Benfica, Eintracht Frankfurt, Rosengard and SK Brann. So far, they've not lost any games and have only drawn one, scoring 32 goals and only conceding seven. That goes to show how dominant they are and it's what we've come to expect from them. Barcelona will play the first leg at home, giving them the advantage of starting the contest in front of their fans. The Johan Cruyff Stadium is a fortress. They had an 80-game winning streak before Levante ended it in February with a 1-1 draw in a Spanish league game. When the two met in 2023, Barca traveled to England for the first leg and took a 1-0 victory at home and then held on to a 1-1 draw to qualify for the final. During the 2021 final, they started on the front foot and blew Chelsea away with four quick goals and by halftime, they had already won the game. This time, they start at home and going by the numbers, they should be comfortable. Jonathan Giraldez knows what it takes to play such games, having worked under Luis Cortes during the club's most successful period. He has players he can depend on, from Carolina Graham Hansen, Fridolina Rolfo, and Aitana Bonmati to Salma Parayuelo, who's the team's top scorer. We know the kind of game they'll play, fast-paced movement in tight spaces combined with counter-attacking football and a lot of ball possession. The Blues are coming into this tie having lost the Continental Cup to Arsenal and days after their FA Cup tie against Manchester United. They still have hopes of winning three trophies but have to be near perfect to do so. Their 2023 and 2021 losses in the hands of Barcelona will be fresh in their minds and they have to overcome that mental block to get anything from this game. Their favorites to win the English Domestic League title this year Although Manchester City trail closely behind, Chelsea hasn't been able to establish their dominance on the continent, having only reached the final once. The team had a fairly tough group playing Real Madrid, Paris FC and Haken. They've also not lost any matches, having won 5 and drawn 3, scoring 19 and conceding 6. The Blues will travel to Spain for the first leg and have to put up a solid performance. A win will set things up nicely for their return leg. The home support should count for something as Chelsea have also flourished in front of their fans. They have the players to do it, from Sam Kerr, Lauren James, Guru Rayton, Marin Mielde and Erin Cuthbert, among others. The Champions League title is the only one that eluded Emma Hayes in her 12-year career at Chelsea. Even though she says it won't define her career at the club, she'll want to win it to cap off a successful run in English football. How she lines up her team and what they do at home will have a huge impact. Will Lightning strike thrice for Barcelona or will Chelsea finally get one over them? Let me know who you think will play in the final in Spain. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.